Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure Windows Sandbox. So the first thing is to go into your control panel. Inside the control panel, look for uh, that is the program and features. Yes. Programs and features. So when you are there, look for if turn Windows features on or off. Once that is clicked, let's wait. Okay, it's coming up. So you look for Windows Sandbox. So I already installed it on this um, system. So let us try on uninstall. So you're saying Windows needs to reboot your PC to finish installing the requested changes. So, but we are not going to restart for now. Don't restart. So, if we go back and you scroll, you will see Windows Sandbox. So, let's see whether we still have the Windows Sandbox. Uh, I need to close this. Let's see whether we still have it. Sandbox. Uh, it's still here, so we may need to restart the system. So let we go we'll come back. Let's restart the system. We have now restarted our system. So let's go back. Let's reconfirm whether we still have the, the Windows Sandbox. No longer on the system, so let's try and um, add the features back. So we move it to control panel the same way. Program and features, turn Windows features on and off, and we scroll down to Windows Sandbox. So just check the box here yeah, and click OK. So, Windows needs to reboot your PC to finish installing the first changes. So, we are going to restart once more now. We'll come back again. And we'll start now. Yes, we have now rebooted the system. So, let's confirm if. Um, the Windows Sandbox feature has been added now. Can you see? It's been added to our system. So um, let us launch it. It's coming up now. Yes, this is a brand new Windows Sandbox that you can use for your testing. So you can see how easy it is to spin up this Windows Sandbox. Another way you can um, spin up this Windows Sandbox, if you don't want to use this um, uh, this step I just showed you, um, you can uh, make use of um, the PowerShell. So this PowerShell, you launch it as an administrator and you type this command. So once you type this command and you hit enter, it's going to ask you for this, um, uh, going to ask you this question. And 
once you type y it's going to restart the system and you'll be able to uh, make use of the windows sandbox another thing i want you to know is that once you leave you close the sandbox whatever you are doing any operation that you are currently carrying out even if you have installed some application anything at all once you click close everything will be deleted permanently that is the only disadvantage of the sandbox so if you click ok now that is it everything will be wiped off so i hope um, you enjoy this video on how to configure Windows Handbox. Thank you for watching.